If the cabinet doesn't function, the whole nation suffer. Winston Churchill said that democracy was the worst form of government, except for all the others. Today, we are faced with three other choices. First, all Malaysians should reject Muhyiddin's emergency. Second, we should reject all form of other dictatorships, including Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad's proposal to have the National Operation Council or National Recovery Council. That was another form of dictatorship. And because of the pandemic, Malaysians do not want a snap poll now. What this means? It means that all of us have to go back to parliament. Politicians and all Malaysians have to go back to parliament to work out a compromise. We must work out a political compromise so that we can deal with the pandemic, we can deal with the health crisis, we can deal with the economic crisis, and we can deal with the political crisis. And how to move into a compromise, I think we need to do five things. First, we must reject presidential prime ministership. Malaysians are so used to the prime minister having all the power, including the power to call parliament when the king was urging the prime minister to call parliament. The power to call parliament should reside in parliament and the prime minister should find a way to call govern together with other parties. We used to have a single party with a prime minister controlling everything. But today, Bersatu has only 31 seats, whereas AMNO has 38 seats. Bersatu took all the important portfolio, including the prime minister post, senior minister for education, home minister, senior minister for economy, and everything else. Of course, AMNO will not be happy. And the government needs to learn. The prime minister needs to accommodate we need to build democracy and equal partnership. The government needs to accommodate opposition. Rotation of power is an important part of parliamentary democracy. When you know that today you are government, tomorrow you are opposition, and the next day you may come back as government, you know that no one could dominate. And Malaysians, all the rakyat knows that no one could dominate forever. We need a functioning cabinet for coalition government. In the years to come, Malaysians have to get used to coalition governments. There is no longer a single party with all the powers. The Prime Minister, who is no longer presidential Prime Minister, has to accept that he is the chairman of the board and he is first among equal. And cabinet is not for ministers to have their ego trips like Asmin Ali or Zuraida. Cabinet is where the Prime Minister worked with a team of party leaders as senior ministers and they reach consensus. Subsequently, they bring it to the cabinet and for all other cabinet ministers to form consensus and to build relationships to ensure that their decisions are executed by the entire chain of command. If the cabinet doesn't function, the whole nation suffer. Parliament is not a rubber stamp. Parliament is the avenue for the political parties and for the people of Malaysia to build consensus and to reach compromises. We are in a divided situation. The only way to reach consensus is that we go to the parliament, we use the parliamentary committee as a way of negotiation on policy positions. We must work together in order to find what are common among us. We are at war with COVID-19 and parliament is where we build consensus and we fight the war together. Instead of appointing backbencher to become GLC chairman, the backbenchers, some of the senior backbenchers should be appointed as chairman of parliamentary select committees. And when they are chairman of those committees, they can be paid a salary like a deputy minister with a staff or two or three, just like the deputy ministers. And once they are there, their day job is to chair parliamentary committees and to scrutinize the government's agenda and performances, as well as building consensus in the committee and explaining parliamentary compromises of the government and the opposition to the public. Now, if we can do that, we will change the way we govern. 
we will empower parliament and we will embolden the voice of the people, yet we find a solution together. In order to ensure that we have sufficient time to fight COVID-19, and in order for any political compromise to happen, we need to have a fixed term so that parliament is only dissolved on 16th of July 2023, the day parliament expired. We must reject emergency, we must reject National Operation Council, and we do not want a step pole now to move forward and to heal the nation. Parliamentary democracy is the solution.